Now our first stop on today's show is a small impoundment in Central Texas with Bass Pro Clark Wendlandt. It's late spring and the water temperature is hovering near 70 degrees. We're going to start out this morning's top water. Um, I, you know, the, the, we're this part of the lake right here, we're in post spawn and the brim are starting to spawn and the fish are feeding on bluegill and so we're going to throw some, uh, some top water and see if we can get a few bites. We fished this little grass flat and it didn't really do any good and this is one of the best flats on the lake so we're going to kind of change up and kind of head back into a little bit of backwater, kind of some pockets and, and uh, see if there's some fish that are still hanging around the beds post spawn. Conditions on this lake right now are, are post spawn to spawn and you know towards the Lower end of the lake, the water's a little bit warmer. That's post spawn. We tried top water there, didn't really do any good. Worked our way up the lake and we got into where we started seeing some fish on the beds. <laughs> That's the smaller one on that bed. A little over two pounds. That's a nice fish. Nice way to start in the morning. The bait we first caught some fish on was a, was a white tube. Um, now a tube bait basically is a hollow body bait that's got little tentacles on it. You can put whatever size weight you want. I've got about a 3 16 ounce weight on here. Um, I've got a wide gap plus hook. And you need a wide gap hook because the bait's got to basically distend down so that whole hook comes out. That's the way you hook the fish. It's a great way to catch fish. You can hook them really good. You don't lose very many. Um, but the key to it and, and why it's so effective in, on spawning fish is because that weight just sits there and as you shake it, the bait, the tentacles will just barely move. And I'm not talking about moving very much, I'm talking about just moving it, just barely shaking it and that, those tentacles will move. And so we caught them on a white tube starting off. The, the white tube, the advantage to it is, is that you can see it, you can tell when a fish bites it sometimes if you're on kind of a darker bed. Sometimes they're kind of feeding on shad so it might work better. Um, what we actually caught the most of our fish on today was kind of a, a black and red tube. Same exact bait, same setup, same hook and everything. Um, but we started seeing those crawfish. And with those crawfish, uh, black and red, they looked almost identical to this. And so we started pitching this on some of the beds. We, we started catching some bigger fish. I cannot wait to show you how fat this fish is right here. Look at this thing. That fish, look how fat that thing is. Unbelievable. God, I mean, it's just like, I mean, it just looks deformed. Coming up, the bite only gets better. Later in the show, we'll head into the city for some urban bass fishing with Wade Middleton and Hobie Kayak's Keaton Oaf. Don't forget, Americana Outdoors is online. Check us out at AmericanaOutdoors.com or visit us on Facebook. While you're online, don't forget to head over to Cabela's.com and stock up on savings at the world's foremost outfitter. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more from Americana Outdoors. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. It's late spring and the bite is on. Bass Pro Clark Wendlandt came out expecting a post spawn pattern, but what he found was an area full of big bass on beds. Oh, that's a good one. You know, the great thing about side fishing is, is that, you know, you, you've got the fish sitting there in front of you and it, you're kind of matching wits you against him. And that's one of the things that I really like about fishing. I, I like it about tournaments. I'm matching my wits against the fish. When I can see that fish there, um, what I'm trying to do is just figure out how to catch them. And, and so you've got to try different techniques, sometimes change bait, sometimes change presentations. Sometimes you got to leave it and sit in there and shake it. Sometimes you got to hop it. Sometimes you got to move it quick along the bottom, throw top water over. I mean, you do all kinds of different things to try to get that fish to bite, see what it keys on it. It's just an exciting way to fish. A lot of it is kind of like hunting. Uh, those of you that like to hunt, you spend your time looking for fish, you find one, and then you try to key down and catch it. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's so cool. Shit. 
She bit it first cast. I was afraid we'd messed it up. All right. Woo, that's a nice one. Look at that fish. Black and red tube. Awesome. Oops, that's probably six pounder anyway. You know, the quality of the fish we caught today was really, really good. I mean, the, the smaller one, we caught a couple two pounders, two and a half pounders, but for the most part, a lot of three, four, all the way up to about seven pounds. We had a six and a seven on the bed, and uh, man, those are just exciting fish to catch. And, and uh, you know, this water's clear. You know, that's one thing you have to have a sight fish, you have to have clear water. And the water on this lake, you can see down six, eight, even 10 feet in places, and uh, it just makes it a fun way to fish. All right, I can get into some of that right there. I'll tell you what, ever since we saw that, that crawfish swimming around on the bottom, black and red, it, it was most, you know, it was real black, but it had a lot of red on it. And we put on a black and red tube and these fish have been a lot easier to catch. It's kind of kind of matching the hatch, but see those big crawfish swimming around, it's awesome. There he is. Oh man, that's awesome. Oh. Man, that's an awesome fish right there. At least seven, I'd say. Well, that does it for this portion of the show. If you'd like to see it again, check out AmericanaOutdoors.com. If you have any questions, give us a shout on Facebook, and we'll get right back to you. Coming up, we'll head to Austin, Texas with Wade Middleton and Keaton Oaf for an afternoon of urban kayak fishing. Later in the show, we'll make a stop in New Orleans for the 2011 Bassmaster Classic Expo. If you're heading out to the lake this summer, then stop by Cabela's and stock up on all the gear you'll need for a fun and safe day on the water. If you can't make it to one of their retail stores, then check them out online at cabelas.com. We'll be right back with more from Americana Outdoors.